And joining me now is Aileen Unver Noe, who is an Associate Professor of International Relations at Istinye University, and Jelar Wergi, who is the Director of the Maghreb Center for Research and Development. Aileen Jelar, welcome to Straight Talk. It's good to have you, you here. So President Erdogan visited Algeria, Senegal, and Gambia as part of his Africa tour. He had previously visited 27 countries, but with uh, the Gambia visit, this number rose to 28. We're going to talk about Turkey's Africa policy, but Jelal, in terms of developments at home and abroad, tell us the, about the significance of President Erdogan's Algeria visit. Yeah, I think we can look at the, the visit of Recep Tayyip Erdogan in terms of making a follow-up of what already uh, uh, has been done in the previous visits mm -hmm. in terms of uh, boosting the economic uh, economic ties with Algeria and uh, they want to uh, uh, make uh, progress and improve uh, from uh, 3.6 billion dollar to as five. trade deal to 5 and as well Is this viable by the way? Yeah, I think yeah, I, I think they can do better better than that in the uh, mid and uh, long term as uh, Algerian uh, keens to uh, uh, improve and uh, have a better uh, relationship with uh, Turkey, especially they share uh, common uh, grounds in many uh, ways vis-a-vis mm -hmm. uh, uh, -vis what is happening in Libya, what is happening in the uh, uh, East Mediterranean, uh, about uh, conflicting terrorism. Uh, Jilal just uh, quickly mentioned it, but Aileen, tell us about Algeria's role in its region and how do you think Ankara and Algeria's national and strategic interests overlap in the region? I mean, what are their common interests in particular? Actually, both um, countries uh, support the political process in Libya. Mm -hmm. So uh, Algeria, uh, as a country which has a, a border, a 1,000 kilometer border with Libya, uh, has a legitimate security concern. So uh, the, its priority is to uh, have a, a secure, stable neighbor. So, uh, in this respect, uh, Turkey's approach to Libya uh, that supports the political solution, political process in the country, overlaps with the Algerian interests too. too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's the one point, uh, the, the two countries both are shared. So the second one is to improving the trade relations that Jelal mentioned briefly. Uh, they have a target to uh, increase the, um, the trade between two countries to five billion. It's uh, possible because uh, there is already ongoing projects like uh, building a joint uh, petrochemical, petrochemical yeah, facility in Turkey. This will be a joint project, uh, project between the state-owned company of Algeria and Turkish company. So there are also other things uh, we forget mention. It's a free trade, free trade agreements. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the both uh, leaders uh, agreed to begin the negotiations on this. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, uh, under Bouteflika, Algeria had some uh, isolationist policy for over these yeah, years. Tell right. us about the new uh, government and the president's priorities in the region. Because yeah. it used to be so dependent on France. Now, can we say that now it's chipping away from France and Russia and looking out for new contacts, uh, reliable yeah, well, partners, yeah, maybe? Yeah, that's, that's what uh, 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 the thing that made the uh, uh, visit of Rajab Tayyip Erdogan very significant because Algeria is changing right now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's moving towards the right direction. Uh, try to build the, a democratic regime. Mm -hmm. uh, they held, uh, let's say, a free election. Uh, but uh, I think now uh, the Algerian will have a different approach of uh, depending to uh, France. And uh, uh, Turkey uh, will look at uh, Algeria right now as uh, the gate to the, Maghreb, uh, the Great Maghreb and mm -hmm. to Africa. And uh, uh, I think uh, Algeria, if changing uh, better towards the democratic regime, will uh, certainly be open to Turkey and will cooperate with, with Turkey more because they have common interests in the region, in Africa, and but as well... But tell us about the Algerian yeah. government's stance on the Libyan conflict because uh, somehow it manages to talk to both uh, warlord Halifa Haftar and on the other, ha on the, on the other hand, uh, the 
internationally recognized government. Yeah, you are totally right. The, the uh, attitude of Algeria is a, a little bit complex and complicated because they try to uh, not showing that they are taking one side, side against okay. the other, but in the same time, they refuse the move of Haftar to uh, uh, take Libya by force, mm -hmm. and they warned him many times that it's a red line to uh, uh, get uh, Tripoli by force, and that's what uh, helped the, uh, I think, the Berlin uh, uh, conference, conference yes. and the move of Turkey as well, uh, striking a deal with uh, But the decisions Russia. taken uh, from, by the uh, Berlin conference have already been breached by Haftar. Yeah, we all know right. that. Yeah. Eileen, very quickly, tell us uh, about Turkey's foreign policy, especially for uh, North Africa, because we know that President Erdogan paid a visit to Tunisia and he is in touch with Libya, we all know that, mm -hmm. and now his latest visit to Algeria. Tell us about Turkey's North Africa for policy. It's totally um, actually related to the, uh, what's happening in Eastern Med Mediterranean region because uh, the complicated maritime uh, boundaries uh, issue and the isolation of Turkey from this uh, process and also the, uh, the projects which uh, exclude some actors of the uh, region from the, uh, the um, oil drilling or gas drilling and exploration activities in the region, uh, ignoring their rights. Uh, like the uh, Turkish Cypriot side, mm -hmm. uh, Turkish Cypriot. So uh, all these uh, push Turkey to uh, take some uh, actions. Since 2000s, Turkey's became a very active uh, force, uh, an actor in Africa continent. It was even the, declared as the uh, strategic partner by the Africa Union, mm -hmm. African Union in 2008. So it's totally active. So when the debates are going on uh, on the Eastern Mediterranean, especially when the Turkey signed a memorandum of understanding on maritime boundaries with Libya, uh, Somalia, another African country, invited Turkey yes. uh, to explore uh, oil and gas in the uh, Somalia coast. So. Uh, there are too many complicated issues, but Turkey openly uh, invited all the countries, which is across the Mediterranean Sea, yes. uh, to reach an agreement uh, on uh, maritime boundaries. So okay. that's a good uh, development in this respect. All right. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Aydin <laughs> <laughs> Jeda, thank you very much thank for you. joining thank me you. on Straight Talk.